and welcome back this is Bally Scuba with more Let's Play Final Fantasy V. When we last left off, we were stranded in the ship graveyard. I am joined as always by my stranded party of Bart, Reyna, Galif, and Ferris. And as you can see, I've been doing a little bit of a grind in here. Got everybody up to level 7. Uh, we're working on uh, the job classes. As you can see, Reyna and Galif are up to level 2. Uh, Bart and Ferris are up to level 1. Well, I think Bart was already on level 1. Uh, level 2 is I think where I'm aiming uh, with Ferris uh, for now. For now. The reason that I chose here to do some level grinding is because it is very, very close to a healing spot, which is in here. Now let's, let's show this off because I thought it was interesting to say the least. Galif gets the bed. Reyna, Ferris, and Bartz hang out around the table. I don't fully understand, but I think it's funny for whatever reason. Okay, let's get out of here. We actually have to move forward today. We are done level grinding, even though that wasn't very much of a level grinding to begin with. We need to head down here. Why do we need to head down here? There's nothing down here. Oh, wait. There are rocks for us to jump across. and They only show up if you go down there. And down here we get ourselves the flail. It is an upgrade for Galif, surprisingly. It gives him an attack power of 16 from 9. Quite an increase. And it actually gives him the highest attack power in our party. I'm still going to keep him on the back row, though, to be honest with you. Um, just, just to be safe, because, of course... Um, He'll get hit more often if he's in the front row, and it'll be for more damage. So, I am going to keep him in the back row. He is my cure, after all. So, let's head up here, and we can head into this other ship. Now, this looks like something that you should be able to pick up to me. This, this map here. But you cannot pick it up for whatever reason. And do we have new enemies now that we are in a new area? We do! We have skeletons! These guys are, of course, undead. Uh, so you could cure them should you want to. Uh, it will do damage to them. However, I don't want to waste MP when I don't absolutely have to. So, we are just going to attack them. It's the easiest way. Don't even bother stealing from them, really. It is not worth your time. Uh, they don't have anything. And that should finish the last one off. It does! Yes! And for that we get 171 gil and 28 experience and 1 ability point. For 3 enemies, 1 ability point. I'll take it, but I was hoping for more. I was always hoping for more. Alright, let's move on. That is not a map that we can do anything with. Uh, let's head down here, and we can pick up a tent. Very nice. So let's move out of here and down here. Uh-oh. There's just water everywhere. Where can we go? Are you gonna pass through here? Gonna get wet. Who cares? Come on! Can I just walk straight down? No, of course not. I have to go down the stairs. Uh, but there is another fight here with the same enemies. And as a result of that battle, I did grab a dirk. Uh, which is uh, uh, the knife that Reyna has equipped. Uh, I did pick up a couple of those. Not that it's particularly useful at this point, unless you have multiple thieves. Give me a new enemy! Damn it! Okay, let's head down these stairs. And down here, we see a pirate box. That's not conspicuous at all. In there, we can get 990 gil. Very nice. I will take it. Now, if I remember correctly... There's a fight right there. Come on, new enemies. I know there's other enemies here besides the skeletons. Why don't you show them off? I'll, I'm just keeping this on screen. This is, what, two two strikes here? And down he goes. Easy as hell, to be honest with you. <laughs> 57 gil, 9 experience, 1 ability point. No, I thought this was uh, the one that would give uh, Ferris the level up in the uh, job level, but I was wrong. It should be the next one. So let's head up here. I think this is the right way. Yes, because you can see a treasure chest down in the bottom there. And another fight! Come on, there are other enemies here besides the skeleton. Please... 
Okay, that guy is out of the way, and this time was the time that uh, Ferris got to the magical level. Uh, magical, uh, for me, I should say. Magical job level of two on Blue Mage, which will give Ferris the ability of learning. Now, what I want to do now is to change Ferris back to the Black Mage. And I will give Ferris the ability learning so that th she can still. Sorry, she? Why am I keep saying she? So that Ferris can learn the blue mage abilities even as a black mage. Sound good? Sounds good to me. Definitely sounds good. And yeah, go ahead, put on the dirk, but you're gonna need to go in the back row. Okay, I think we are ready to move on. Black Mage equipped. <gasps> Let's get a phoenix down out of this treasure chest here. And we can get into another fight. Come on! Anything but a skeleton. There are other things here. Why? Why are you just showing me skeletons? Seriously, what the hell? Die, skeleton. You die in two hits. Why? <gasps> Why won't you give me anything else? Ah, uh, so we have learned the ability that pretty much helps a blue mage learn all the techniques that can be, well, used as blue magic later on. And we will be using that to, uh, to our best ability later. But for right now, we don't have anything particular to, to learn. Please give me a new enemy. Thank you. I told you there were other things here. I'm not crazy. Uh, let's go ahead and cast a bolt across the board here. We have a lumber beast and a crist slug. I assume that's crystal slug. Is that going to be enough to kill the skeleton? No? Okay, well this should be enough to kill the skeleton. Uh, we're going to need a cure across the board. It is getting to be that time when everybody's just a little bit low on health. And now we're, we're all pretty much fine. Alright, can I steal from the Lumber Beast? Stole a tonic. Tonic, I'll, I'll take a tonic. It's not exactly what I was hoping for, but I will take it. Let's go ahead and try to burn with the Lumber Beast. And we can try to finish him off with a sword. Down he goes. I told you there was other stuff here. <laughs> Get 180 gil, 30 experience, and still just the one ability point, even though I definitely had to use a little bit more of a tactful approach, I should say, a tactical approach. And let's just keep going. Oh, I can head that way. Receive a tonic out of there, and we can just head straight up here. And almost out. Almost out. I was, I was so close there. New enemies? Nope. Nope. Alright, let's head out of here. Just down this way. And we have reached a dry land and beds. I'm soaked. Looks like we might be safe here for a while. And we've got to get out of these white clothes. I bet we do, Raina. Do you want me to... Don't try to peek, damn it. She, she doesn't want me to to look and help her with it. Oh, a lot of fire. Very nice. Let's dry these clothes. Darn. Leave me be! What are you talking about? You'll catch your death of cold! And then they just... Yar, stop or I'll slit your gullet! Are, are they just stripping Ferris? What the hell? What is going on? Rena, he's, uh, I mean, she's a woman! What? Darn me, Private Cherry. <laughs> but, but why did you hide it? When I was but a lass, I was rescued and raised by pirates. But why'd you pretend to be a man? Let's just say pirate ain't the most open-minded lot for taking women seriously. I thought you were too pretty to be a man. <laughs> How can you tell us, Japan? Don't you talk down to me just cause I be a woo, woo man. Woo man. Uh oh. Dar, I'm going to sleep. 
So, yes, Ferris is a woman. Sally said that a couple times. I tried my best to avoid it, but... <laughs> oh, man. It's tough. It's tough when you you know. <laughs> so, so we do have uh, two men and two women in our party. I slept like a babe I did. Look alive, you dogs. The sun's high in the sky. Are you still going to talk like a pirate? And Gallif is so good at mornings. What are you lovers babbling now? What? We're moving out. <laughs> okay, still seems more like a man to me. Deal with it. Ferris is Ferris. <laughs> that makes total sense. Right. So, yes, yeah, sorry if I spelled that for you, but yes, Ferris, Ferris is, is a girl. Let's head up here, and there is a save point, which I will be using. Okay, with that done, let's head up here. We were healed by the cutscene, so no need to use a tent. Let's just head on out of here. And we can head over to the right. God, he goes so fast. <gasps> so fast with the thief in the party. And let's head in here. And here we can find the world map. Now, why we can pick this one up as opposed to the one that was like laid out for us on the desk, I don't know. It's not nice to tease me like that game. So let's just grab this world map here. And I don't think you can go that way now. No. But I can get into a boss fight right here. Not boss fight. What am I talking about? Random fight. But we are uh, with... Uh, we are against new enemies. I can't speak. Speaking is hard. Uh, we are up against uh, psycho heads here. I'm just going to go ahead and attack and try to save some of the uh, some of the MP on Ferris. That's right, I don't have to uh, try to focus on saying Ferris's name instead of she all the time. <laughs> oh god, I can't tell you how many times I... Oh, damn it! Rain has been poisoned! Poisoned most foul! Alright, let's go ahead and use a, a bolt on the psycho head then. We're gonna need to try to kill these guys quick! Uh oh. No, no. No, we need, we need Raina alive. Cure! Go, Cure! Very nice. That should uh, heal her for a bit here. We can finish off the Lumber Beast. And then we should be able to finish off Psycho Heads here. No, still not enough. At least one more hit. And it looks like uh, his poison has gone away, it looks like. And yes, we have done it again. 195 go. I know I went through that pretty fast. 195, uh, 34 experience, and one ability point. Uh, when I did fight the two lumber beasts, I did get three, which was nice. Uh, but most of the other fights just give me one ability point, which is which is very frustrating. But in here, we can grab a couple antidotes and a phoenix down. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Now let's get out of here. And out of this ship, and now we can head on and jump over these rocks. Ooh, another treasure chest. What's in this one? The other side of the ship, apparently. I, do I don't understand how that works, but I'm not going to complain. Let's just head on to the other side.